they're back. And they're gonna be with us for quite a while. Hi, I'm Mickey Anders from Fish Tech with this week's Caddis Report. Caddis are gonna hatch from now until we get a heavy freeze. So here's what you need to know. First of all, everybody thinks about the nymphs and you do need to have nymphs in your box, but you don't need to fish in imitation because they're pupating inside of a cocoon. So they're not even available to the fish. What you do need though, is the stuff that comes out, the pupas that come out of those cocoons. And you can go with an exact match like this, or you can go just with a soft tackle. These are so much fun because there's so many different ways to fish them. And you can fish them under an indicator, or Euro nymphing, or even a modified Euro rig. You can dead drift it. At the end of your drift, you can twitch this, swim it, and then bring it to the surface and expect a hard hit. Now, if you just like to dry fly fish, they're great too. You need to know the size and the color, and there's gonna be a variety of them coming off from now on. Because I can't see anymore, I like a parachute. So a pattern like this. Now here's the one that everybody forgets about. The females, the egg layers, are gonna come down to the water and use the surface tension of the water to help pull those eggs off of her. And you'll see her dancing above the water. Sometimes she hits a little hard and sticks in the film. She needs to flutter her wings to get up off the water, and a pattern like this works really well, especially with a little bit of life. Hey, for these caddis tips and a whole lot more, come on down to Fish Tech, we'll help you out. Now for tonight's fishing line.